Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the alleged mastermind of the September 11th terror attacks, is due before a military judge Thursday. A Marine colonel is scheduled to preside over an arraignment for Mohammed and four others charged in the attacks. The military says it expects the hearing to be confrontational with defense lawyers arguing points with prosecutors on behalf of their clients. Mohammed's team of lawyers includes a Navy officer, an Air Force officer, and two civilian attorneys from Idaho. The chief defense counsel for the tribunals says the military commissions are fundamentally flawed. Army Colonel Steve David says defense lawyers will zealously identify and expose each and every flaw. Mohammed and the four others will be arraigned at the same time in the high-tech courthouse. A top tribunal official says the accused will get three pieces of information at the arraignment. They will be explained the charges and they will have the right to have the charges read to them or they will be notified of the charges in one way or the other. They also have the right to waive the reading of the charges if they choose. Secondly, when they will be advised of their counsel rights, those are the counsel rights that I have described to you this evening. Those will be identified to the accused uh, tomorrow morning by Judge Coleman. And then thirdly, they will have the right to enter a plea of guilty or not guilty. All five of the men are charged with murder in violation of the law of war, conspiracy, attacking civilians, terrorism, and other crimes. They all face the death penalty if convicted. The other defendants are Ramzi bin al Sheib, who is said to have been the main intermediary between the hijackers and Al Qaeda leaders, Ali Abd al Aziz Ali, a nephew and lieutenant of Mohammed, Mustafa Ahmad al Hassawi, al Aziz Ali's assistant, and Walid bin Atash, who allegedly selected and trained some of the 19 hijackers. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.